Hey guys, I just want to give an overview of my three color decks that I play in Magic Online and in real life. Uh, the first one is called Bant, and Bant generally means a deck consisting of white, blue, and green, uh, which is these three aligned colors. And um, yeah, this this is the aggro control deck, very mid rangey. I have no cards costing over five mana in this deck. Um, I have. Well, just to go over the cards basically a little bit, uh, to go over the lands first, I have Bant Panorama and Seaside Citadel, Temple of Enlightenment, Temple of Plenty. If I had, if I had uh, dual lands and fetch lands for this deck, I would use them as well. Don't have it right now. I'm running a Spell Skite, a single one. Uh, two mana, you can change the target of target spell ability to it. Basically, it, it really helps you save your other creatures. If you have a spell sky out, then they can't really target your other creatures. It basically saves them. I guess you can also put Kira Creek Last Spinner as well. But to me, spell sky is a little bit better than than Kira for this deck. Uh, it is, since it's an artifact and doesn't need double blue, it's not legendary. Um, you can use your own uh, effects on it basically. So I like I like spell sky. And then I have a Freak of the Many, three three Exalted. Whenever tax alone gives double strike, really powerful. Uh, Kazali Pride Mage, of course, which is a pretty good utility card. You can destroy artifacts and enchantments. Um, what do we have here? Yep. Voice of Resurgence. When an opponent casts a spell during my turn, or when it dies, I get a token, uh, which is good against people playing a lot of instants. And uh, Kitchen Finks, always a good card to have. 3 2, comes up again 2 life. I have Kitchen Finks and probably the most. Kitchen Finks and Eternal Witness are probably the, the cards that reappear in the most of my decks because they're just so good. So that's why that's there. Knight of the Reliquary, plus one plus one for each land card in my graveyard. Of course, I, if you have Fetch Lands, if you have Terramorphic Expanse, if you have Evolving Wilds, and other cards that that basically die when you use them, then um, this is really good for it. And you can sacrifice, you know, Forest of Plains and switch for Dual Lands, of course. So Knight of the Reliquary is pretty good. Geist of Saint Traft, also pretty good. Uh, hexproof and attacks, you get a 4 4 tapped and attacking for just 3 mana. Scavenging Ooze, really good card. Um, is a, it's good against graveyard decks, and it's also a good card in general because uh, aside from a Tarmogoyf, I don't have Tarmogoyfs in this deck, but probably it can be up to a Tarmogoyf. It can get pretty big. Eternal Witness, really good card. 3 mana enters the battlefield, get, you get to reuse any card, which is awesome. Collected Company. Uh, as an instant, 4 mana, top 6 cards, put a 2 creature cards, three, mo 3 or less, into the battlefield. Since most of my creatures are 3 or less, then Collected Company is really good. I have Garrick Wildspeaker, which is one of the best, still one of the best um, green planeswalkers out there. Maybe the best one, I think. So on the last troll, 4 mana, 4-4, four, four, Hexproof, we can't be countered and regenerate, really hard to kill. And for blue, I have Phantasmal Image, 2 mana to copy any creature, it's awesome. 4 Remands, counter target spell for 4 mana, and um, you draw a card and it delays the opponent's tempo, which is really good. So yeah, 2 of the cards I really have in this deck, but I can't because uh, they're really expensive, are Time Mogwaif. Time Mogwaif are really expensive, I don't have them in this deck. I have Scavenging Ooze instead, and... Snapcaster Mage. I would like to have Snapcaster Mage in this deck, but again, it's a little bit expensive right now. It would be nice to have Snapcaster Mage in this deck, but I have Phantasmal Image instead. A little bit cheaper. And then J Jace Balaran. Since uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor is banned in Modern, so I can't use the Mind Sculptor here. I have to use Jace Balaran. I do have Mind Sculptor, I just can't use it. So you look for Jace. I have all of these Jace cards. Um, yeah, I would like to put Jace the Mind Sculptor in here, but yeah, it's too powerful. It's funny how they, they banned uh, Jace the Mind Sculptor. They didn't ban Snapcaster Major Time Wave. I guess the Mind Sculptor is. In terms of pure power, Jace the Mind Sculptor is one of the most powerful cards in the game. It's just amazing. Alright, and then Vendelian Clique. Another card that's used a lot. Um, it's also expensive, but it's uh, I only have one of it, so I don't need to buy it that many. It's legendary, so I only have one. So it enters the battlefield, and then. You choose a non-land card from it. Basically, it acts like a discard. It helps the 
shuffles the opponent back in the library, then draws a card, and it's flash, and it's flying, and it's a 3-1, so, yeah, it's just a really good utility card. Um, Cryptic Command is really useful, because it's one of the best instants in the game, 4 mana, counter target spell, or return some, something to its owner's hand, or tap all the creatures your opponent's control, or draw a card, and you choose two of them, with all those effects on its own are really good. So, Cryptic Command is one of the best instants in the game. I have that, uh, Glen Alexander Archmage, 4 mana, and then you can counter target non-creature spell with the Persist. Again, it's good for um, protecting your creatures. Then for white, I have the all really uh, common Path to Exile, the Ubiquitous Path to Exile. Uh, 1 mana, exile target creature, pretty simple, amazing card. Gotta have it. And then Brumaz, uh, I have Brumaz because it's just a really good creature card. 3 mana, 3, 4 Vigilance already is pretty good. The fact that it creates tokens makes it even better. Elspeth Night Errant, uh, again, one of the best Planeswalkers for white, and one of the best Planeswalkers in general. I think along with uh, Jace and Jason Mind Sculptor, Jace Belair, and Garrick Wildspeaker, and um, some other cards, I think Elspeth is one of the best. Um, 2 plus 1 abilities, really good. Hero Blade Hold again, anything that creates tokens on its own, and without any further mana investment is pretty good. Linvala Keeper of Silence. This one is to defeat other opposing uh, combo E decks slash really powerful creature decks. Um, for example, Scavenging Ooze. They can't use the ability. Something like that. Linvala is good. Sublime Archangel. Kind of just fits with the band theme, I think. That's why I have it in here. It fits just pretty well banned. And I also wish I had Noble Hierarch. Noble Hierarch is a really good card here. Um, I don't have it in this deck yet, but when I have enough, when I have enough tickets, I will buy it for sure. Uh, I just need to get enough tickets first for Noble Hierarch. But would it be nice to have Noble Hierarch? Yeah, I'm gonna put that in as soon as I get it. because that is the bad card to have. To have one mana, uh, tap. It's basically one mana for a zero one Exalted, and it can tap to add white, blue, or green, basically the bant colors to your mana pool. So it's made for bant, and I will definitely put it in as soon as I have enough tickets to buy a four, a set of four, because no one uses less than four Noble Hierarchs. Everyone uses four Noble Hierarchs. So, yeah, I'm definitely going to use that. So. Alright, this is my bant deck. In other words, it's my green, white, and blue deck. We'll see how it fares. Oh, okay, Evolving Wilds. Blue white, probably control. You know, island. Yeah. Ooh, white, blue, and and green. So that's basically the same as me, which is also Bant. Huh. What was that? Oh, return it to my hand. It's annoying. Hmm. Very annoying. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Okay, that's going to be extremely annoying. But he doesn't have one. He doesn't have three blue mana yet. So maybe I'm okay for now. He needs three blue mana to use that ability. So we'll see.
can tuck it permanent to its own inside. Right. Hmm. Okay. Didn't think you would do that. Okay. Voice of Resurgence comes out. Creatures you control get plus two plus two and has flash. What kind of card is that? I'm gonna remand it. Gonna cast collected company. Bring some creatures out. Counting spell? Huh. Nope, it's just an enchantment again. I got Scavenging Ooze and Knight of the Reliquary, who is a 4-4. That's cool. Not bad. Ooh, Cryptic Command. Well, I'll just keep that on hand. Yeah, I like that. So I have a hard counter spell in Crypto Command. It's actually a hard counter spell. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna counter that. Counter target spell and counter target spell, return target for minutes or something sand. That's very good. Crypto Command. Such a good card. Imagine if I had Snapcaster Mage in this deck. Snapcaster Crypto Command. That's a good combo. Need a lot of blue for it though. I'm gonna use this ability, remove this from the graveyard. Oops. 
but well. Oh, awesome. Eternal Witness. I can get back my crypto command. That's great. Um, I'm gonna use. I'm gonna put a threat actually. Put some more pressure. This game is mine anyway. That is four, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, yeah, it's done. GG. And that is my Bant deck, ladies and gentlemen. Yep. on this reach. Another one. Uh, I need Elspeth here. But now you deal with Blade Hold actually. Ten damage already. Next turn he's dead. <laughs> he's got to remove the hero blade holding Elspeth somehow. 
otherwise it's dead. Tchau, 